Hello, Colts Nation. Welcome back to another episode of the No Horsing Around podcast. As always, but not as lightly, I am one of two dudes talking Colts. I'm one of your hosts, Stephen Burton. It's been a little while since I've had one of these little one-offs, but I talked to Zach and I was like, I want to do one real quick because Dio Adangbo has returned to practice. So news is it, you know, obviously he was one of the players that could be activated off of IR. He was, and I wanted to kind of jump on here quickly for just, just a short period, just a little bit to kind of remind you guys why this is a big deal, why I think it's a big deal. So first and foremost, dude, Dio is 6'5", 35 inch arms. He's just ridiculous, you guys. Just a ridiculous freak when it comes to the abilities that he has displayed. Now, obviously, for those who, you know, you got to try to probably remember a little bit. Dude came from Vanderbilt, played basically every position on the line, tore his Achilles tendon at some point during his senior year. Actually, it was more headed towards the senior bowl. And a lot of people were like, what the hell? Why are we drafting a player who we're going to kind of punt a year on? Well, it looks like he's going to play. Um, everything that we heard, that myself and Zach heard from George Brimmer to Zach Kiefer to whoever we talked to said, this dude's a freak, man. Like, he's never seen a player bigger. They've also never seen Chris Ballard discuss a player the way they did discuss Dio. So, I mean, he's just, it's a big get, you guys. It's a big get to have him come back, to have him be here. I mean, for those who don't know, there you go. That's Dio, y'all. That That's Dio in the video. That's him. Number 54. A lot of people had a problem. You know, let's 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 not joke. Let's not pretend. Some people had a little bit of an issue <laughs> with, the, with the number selection by him and Quiddy. But it's a large human being, man. That's a large man. And he's back. He's back practicing. You have the potential that he could actually see the field. He's going to see the field this year, I think, which is interesting because preseason, me and Zach talked about that we thought there was always the possibility he could be activated. There was always a possibility he could just not play, you know? So now that he is. Why is it a big deal? Why why are we over here at No Horse? Why did I want to jump on and give you guys this video where we're discussing Dio Adangbo? Well, I'm going to tell you why, you guys. I'm I, you know I'm not just going to tell you why. I'm going to show you why. Okay, so for those who are watching on YouTube, which the predominant amount of you guys do, just just Alabama watch this video. Look at him go. Look at him go. I mean, he doesn't get the sack, but he disrupts the play. He disrupts this play, and he causes an errant pass, which results in an interception. Then you see that play just now gets knocked down. Motor keeps going. Dude has this massive motor, and he just keeps going. There's another disruptive play. I mean, he's just... Overall, he is an extremely disruptive athlete. He's big, he's long, he's scary. You know, it's just kind of what he does. Now, what does this mean going forward for the Colts themselves with Dio returning and actually practicing and having the ability to po potentially play? Uh, it means big things. Put him put him on the line. He's not really a D-end. He's not really a tackle. He's not a three-tech. He's kind of all over the place. But just picture a package with Kamoko Ture and Ben Banigo, or out, you know, pick and choose who you want on the ends, Buckner and Dio in the middle. That's a scary thought. That's a, that's a lot of length, a lot of speed. We've all seen Buckner chase people down into the secondary. Dio looks like he has that ability. Now, I'm not saying he's not playing this weekend, you guys. He's not. He's got to kind of ramp up, but he looks like he's going to play. He looks like he's going to get some action this this uh, this season, which is more than I think what a lot of people expected. So, just when you watch him, you know, and you and you review his tape and you look at what he does, you know, you also heard rumors that there were teams that were very interested in him 
They were right behind the Colts in the second round for those who thought they overreached for him. I don't think he was an overreach. We're going to see that. He has a chance to be a transformational piece for the defense. It's a big enough reason that I wanted to get on here. I wanted to talk to you guys briefly about Dio coming back because I think it's a very, very big deal for the defense. I think it's a massive deal because you also have Quiddy getting a little healthier. The, you know, just, just picture that Quiddy, Dio, DeForest Buckner, and then let's put Kamoko or Ben Banigou or whoever you want on the other side. Man, I don't know about you guys, but that that's a scary thought. Um, really quickly here at the end, definitely want you guys like, share, follow, comment, got questions about dial drop it and i'll try to respond zach will too uh we we love everybody thank you guys so much for subscribing for sharing it for doing all those different things we're at 550 i think the goal that we're trying to set for ourselves tomorrow is you know, as of the recording of this tomorrow is friday game sunday night by sunday night let's let's do 565 can we get 15 more can we get 15 more subscribers y'all know my saying if you're subscribed, thank you. We love you. Thanks for joining the family. If you're not subscribed, please do. If you're subscribed, tell a friend to subscribe. If they're subscribed, tell another, tell them to tell a friend. Friends don't let friends not subscribe to No Horsing Around. We love you guys. We love the expansion of the family. We love that we're including Ravens fans and Niners fans and Texans fans and the ability to do these different things. And that comes from you guys. So I just want to take a second here at the very end and thank you guys for it. If you've got questions, if you've got comments, please just hit it up in the chat. As, as Zach always says, get a good, healthy convo going. Uh, I got nothing else. I love you. Even though he's not here, I know Zach loves you. I'm out.